I know that it's been a while since I made my last video, but I had an exam and some other stuff. But today here I am back with another video and today I'm going to show you some DIY supplies for the back to school season. This is also a collab with my YouTube friend Sarah Beauty Corner and she also is going to make 10 DIY back to school supplies. She makes the most amazing DIY videos ever, so check her video by clicking in the link at the end of the video or in the description box. So let's go ahead and let's start! The first idea is perfect to spice up your desk and you will need a plain mouse pad, some printed donut, book cover in plastic, scissors and glue. Start off printing out the donut shape with the same size of your mouse pad. I will leave the link to this one in the description box. Cut it out and stick it to the mouse pad. Take your plastic and cover the entire thing. An easy hack for a perfect finish is using a card like so. Cut out the leftover plastic and it's all done. As you see this was super simple and really easy to customize using any picture that you like. Next, let's personalize some pencils and for this you will need some plain pencils and some acrylic paint in your favorite colors. Start painting the pencil with a light color. I'm using ivory but you can use any light pastel color if you want. An easy hack to hold it in place while it's drying is using a clothespin like so. Now take some toothpicks and make some little lines with the rest of the colors so they look like cute candy sprinkles. Let them dry and sharpen the tips so they are ready to use. The next idea is the most adorable stapler ever and you will need a plain stapler and some air drying clay in black and white. Take a piece of the white clay and cover the top part of the stapler and make sure that you can still open and close the stapler. With the black clay make two little half circles for the ears, be like shapes for the arms and also for the legs. Make a little ball for the tail and give it a cute face. Let it dry and this little panda is ready to staple all of your paper. If you don't like staples, you can also make these cute clips. You will just need some printed pics, paper clips and book covering plastic. Start printing and cutting the little pics. You can find these ones on Google Images writing cute cartoon tumblr or something similar. Take a little piece of plastic and cover the little pigs, first the front and then the back. And cut the excess leaving a little bit of edge. Finally, just glue that to the clip, adding a dot of hot glue and your cute clip is ready to be used. You can make tons of different designs using this technique and you can also do the same thing with little pins, perfect for planners and that way you have a new project to try it out. To make this cute notebook you will need a plain notebook and some paint. To make the watercolor effect add some water to a tiny bit of paint. Protect the inside of your notebook and start painting the edge of the notebook in green. Do the same thing on the other side in red covering a little bit more of the notebook. You can add as many layers of this watercolor effect as you want. Just make sure you let each layer completely dry before painting a new layer. Once you have it exactly like you want, add some little tear shapes to represent the watercolor seeds with a black pen. I absolutely love how it turned out, so I can't wait to try the same technique with different fruits as well. Another useful supply is this ruler and you will need scrap of paper, a plain ruler, a cutter and glue. Cut a piece of the scrapbook paper using the ruler as a guide and it will help if your cutter is sharp because mine was absolutely terrible. If your ruler is too long you will need to cut another piece so align the piece that you already cut with the pattern of the scrapbook paper as I'm doing in the video. Glue the two pieces of the paper to the ruler and that's it. Your new ruler is ready to be used. To make the most adorable USB flash drive ever you will need a tiny USB and air clay in yellow and green. Start covering the bottom part of the USB with the yellow clay. Give it an oval shape and then with the help of a knife make some lines so it looks like a pineapple. Once you're happy with the design let it dry and take the little lid. We need to cover it with the green clay. Then make little cone-like shapes to represent the leaves 
and add them all around the lid like so. You can use any clay you want, just make sure you don't need to bake it after frying. And there you have it, an adorable pineapple USB flash drive. I love making different types of bookmarks, and for this one you will need a printed pick, embroidery thread, and scissors. Let's start making the tassel of our bookmark. For that, wrap the thread around your fingers like so, until the loop is pretty full. Take another piece of string and thread it through the loop we just created, and tie a knot. Take one more piece of string and wrap it around the top part of the loop, as I'm doing in the video. Secure with a knot and cut the excess. Cut the bottom of the loop and your little tassel is finished. Now cut the printed picture of some scrapbook paper and I decided to round the edges but you can leave them as they are and punch a hole at the top. Thread and secure the tassel and you're done. I think it turned out super cute and if you want to use it for your binder or planner you can add more holes on the side. And I left my favorite project for the end. You will need some craft sticks, a binder clip and washi tape. Place the sticks in a row and line them with the help of two more sticks. Glue another stick in diagonal to hold it in place. And break some more sticks and glue them down too. Now glue the binder clip, this one is from a shop named Tigger and decorate the clipboard with some washi tape, stickers or anything you want. This adorable thing is perfect to clip your to-do list and sticky notes so you are super organized all the time. So that was all, I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know in the comment section which project was your favorite. Also give it a thumbs up if you like this type of video, I try to change things a little bit and I really like how it turned out but let me know. Also don't forget to check Sarah's video and subscribe to her channel, she makes the most unique DIY videos ever so I'm sure you're gonna love them. I love you guys so much and thanks for watching, bye!